currently it is 6.20 and I'm getting ready for school. I did want to wake up earlier at around like 5.30 for this video to get like a head start. I did wake up at 5.30 but I didn't get up so whatever. But I'm just gonna try and explain like a little bit more of this video. Because I've already tried several times to film it in the past like two weeks. And I've got like good footage but like I'll miss a day where I'm just not feeling like recording. So basically this is just me saying that I've lost all productivity throughout the weekend and I wanted to try again. I just finished eating and I just finished like the rest of a Gilmore Girls episode that I was watching. Next thing on my list that I made earlier is to clean my room. And honestly, every time I clean my room, it just gets a lot more messier than before. And it's like currently a depression room. I don't really know. The desk is really dirty. And then my like shelf right here where I'm like standing my phone on is like pretty dirty too. And I want to organize it. And I know it's only like 5.15 right now, but I want to do my best so like I'm not tempted to get into it and fall asleep like I always do. So... It's an awful house And I wanted to get you out I'm working on a plan Bruh. right now To come through I've waited for a lifetime for you To come down Oh, nothing feels the same without you I finished with the pile of clothes that was in a corner, so it's not there anymore, but I still have to clean all the baskets of clothes, um, which will probably not get done today, obviously, so I'll probably have to do it tomorrow and on the weekend. I've already finished making my bed, even though it's like six something, I don't know. But what I've been wanting to do for a while now, and I've been putting it off for like two weeks now, is I got this box, right? And I got it because I'm going to be sending my friend that lives two hours away from me gifts. These are the books that I'm going to be sending to her. I need to clean them first because I've read them like almost, no, yeah, I've read them a year ago. You were liars. It is so sad. Um, this one, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This book was interesting. I don't know if you'd call it a plot twist. I guess it was a plot twist for me. Obviously, I'm not going to spoil it, but it was, it was, this was a good one. Um, so yeah, we're gonna send her that, and then I have three other things that I'm gonna go send her. So, oh my gosh. So, uh, because it's fall right now, and I think both of our favorite seasons are fall, 
at least mine is i don't know about her i got her like fall themed stuff and here's the first one it's hello kitty like moisturizing cream and it's caramel macchiato scented so there's that and then i got her these socks like i'm so tempted to take them because they're so cute like look at that and then i got her this like facial mask set it's pumpkin and honey which goes like very well with the theme so i'm going to be sending her five things They did. So I didn't really do a good job of explaining what was going on, but my mom and brother were planning on going out and I had errands to run too, so I just tagged along with them and you'll see in about a minute. Sorry 
if the lighting is bad. The sun has gone down. Just finished my test. I, apparently it was like, I took an hour and two minutes, but I made a 90 on it, so who cares? Right now, I'm getting a little hungry because uh, throughout this entire freaking test, I could smell my mom cooking. And I haven't eaten anything since like 2 p.m. I'm going to take a break.